Hello, everyone. In this video, you'll be getting to know the top features for 40 Analyzer 7.2 that was newly released. We'll start off with showing some advanced automation capabilities that can help with cross team collaboration and improve and streamline your security processes. We'll then show some enhanced features that gives better visibility, better monitoring, and event detection to improve response time. And finally, we'll show uh, the feature that helps with extended visibility and detection for IoT devices to help with risk management. The first thing we'll be showing is our advanced automation, beginning with our ServiceNow integration. If I go into Fabric Now, I can see that ServiceNow is connected and ready to go. Whereas before, you only had a one-way connection to ServiceNow to send incidents to uh, the product for IT ticket management. In 40 Analyzer 7.2, your integration to ServiceNow was upgraded to be included in 40 SOC. So let's go ahead and take a look. If I go into 40 SOC and I try to create playbook, I hit a new playbook. I can see that I'm able to create, uh, utilize a low code automation platform to create my security process. So in this case, I can choose ServiceNow as the integration. At the moment, the integration only consists of sending any addition, any changes of incidents to ServiceNow. But as the actions begin to uh, begins to build out, additional use cases can be had. A scenario I imagine that could happen as integration with ServiceNow continues to build out is for smaller customers wanting to use 40 Analyzer as a simple ITSM solution. They can choose so by creating tickets as incidents and attaching the relevant incidents in 40 Analyzer or uh, attaching the related events in 40 Analyzer, improving and pulling information from within ServiceNow to 40 Analyzer. Alternatively, another scenario that can occur is 40 Analyzer being used bidirectionally, where not only would it be able to send in incident information to ServiceNow, but pull changes from ServiceNow ticket to be populated in 40 Analyzer or real time sync. So security analysts can work with related teams to reduce mean time to respond to incidents. Next, we'll be showing how in 40 Analyzer 7.2 enhances visibility and monitoring. If I go into 40 SOC, there are now new ways to gain visibility into shadow applications installed in user endpoints. If I go under my event handler section, which is where I would parse all of the logs coming in into events, I can see that there's a uh, event handler called title default shadow IT events ready for me out of the box. Application visibility has always been a problem for system administrators where visibility can be easily gained with approved applications. However, for unapproved applications installed by users, this remains a problem for both system administrators managing user endpoints and servers, but also security operators and uh, who's responsible for managing security risk. With the new shadow IT detection support, security teams can detect things like unauthorized users, unsanctioned applications, file exfiltrations, and more. Additionally, if we go back into our event handler list, we also have a event handler titled Default Recon Activity by Endpoint. This is a new event handler that we that Fortinet came out with. And if we if we look at the reason behind why this uh, event handler exists, if we look at common attacks that have occurred in recent past, say solar winds, for example. Often attackers subtly find ways to get into networks undetected. Once inside, they can remain dormant for days, weeks, for, or even years. 
However, they would need to still be looking for ways to move around laterally undetected. This expanded reconnaissance detection capability can help with discovering malicious intent happening at the reconnaissance stage. For example, if I go into uh, the event handler um, for the recon activity by endpoint, I can see that this event handler would be activated when an endpoint is pinging a hundred distinct destination IP within a short time frame. That's a, that's a very short time frame, and that raises suspicion for security analysts to investigate further. Furthermore, we have our uh, IOC expansion capabilities to fortigate local traffic. Administrators can now easily detect IOC happening within FortiGate. Often, misconfigured and ill-permissioned security devices can be used as an attack vector for malicious, from, uh, for malicious actors. By utilizing this new expanded capability, security analysts can quickly detect against incoming or ongoing attacks to its firewalls either internally or from an external source to a DMZ firewall. Finally, with the convergence of IT and OT, along with computing edge expanding boundaries needing and needed to be protected by security, organizations need to include IoT security while they plan their security strategy. For the analyzer, provide IoT visibility for your edge devices to help detect and remediate unauthorized device attached to your organization's network. A simple example here is detecting an unauthorized Raspberry Pi flowing through an allow all security appliance communicating with a CNC server. So the scenario is the IT team wants or has limited visibility into edge devices. Office worker and a worker unknowingly connects a malicious Raspberry Pi for some development testing without knowing that the free Raspberry Pi that they got was uh, installed with some sort of malware. The solution here is for the analyzer with IoT visibility and uh, anomaly detection. The benefits include edge visibility, inventory tracking, and malware protection from rogue devices with FortiGate. So that's it. Now you've learned the top new features for Forty Analyzer 7.2, and I can't wait to hear how you'll be implementing some of these scenario use case features in your own personal environment. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Mm -hmm.